So taking a look at a uh, E46 M3, um, getting codes for a um, auxiliary water pump and a, a water diverter valve uh, malfunction. Um, so that's that unit down in there. Um, so we're just going to swap that out with a new one. Um, taking off the strut bar and the clips for this before I decided to make a video. So we just need to get a few things out of the way. controller These guys are six mil. And I think this should be free now. Let's just start pulling on it. Take tube. And we always want to check for cracks. And there it is. So full disclosure, I've actually replaced this once. Um, you know, lesson learned. Don't buy cheap parts from eBay with no real name on them. Because uh, this thing lasted about three months. So now we're doing it again with real parts. Well, more real parts. This thing just kind of ooh, comes up, I think. Yep, yep, there it goes. Okay. Alright, now I don't want this to leak everywhere. So I've got some Nifty tools, nifty tools to help with that. Yep, there they are. These will clamp on to the hoses and keep them from leaking too much. No, six millimeter, not eight. There it goes. All righty. We'll just kind of dump 
that in there. I do sort of want to play with this thing later, just to see what went wrong. And you know, actually, I could probably see if it's a uh, burnt coil right off the get-go here. So we're going to assume this is a good one. Mm, 25 ohms. One ohm. <laughs> Not quite a dead short. Okay, and then what about the controller valve? Ten ohms for the crappy eBay one. Yeah, about the same. So, maybe that motor's blown? Either way, shiny new one. Now, I took that off um, with power tools, but I will not be putting it back on that way. That is just a little too aggressive. down into place. Easy peasy. Okay. 
All right, those seem to be secure. So now, what, put everything back together? Yep. Well, dang it. There it goes. Make sure to line up that intake tube down there. Yep. Yeah. Got that covered. Maths plug back in. Get that little thing in there, even though that doesn't really do anything. Try not to lose my wrench.
Well, that's it for the hardware. Uh, let's go see if it worked. So we noticed that the pump component of this uh, cheap, crappy eBay part I got um, had low resistance on it. Um, and one thing I noticed, I on a whim, I went and checked the fuse panel. And sure enough, fuse 62 is open. Uh, so I popped a new one in there, and uh, hopefully that works. All right, so what we're doing now is uh, just finishing up a uh, scan for faults. And we see the um, climate control is got is in yellow, so it's got the issues. And yep, that's what we expected to see. So auxiliary water pump and water valve uh, have an error. So we're going to delete those, see if they come back. Alrighty, and that air is gone, so looks like we fixed it.